At midnight last night, for the first time in 17 years, the Republicans in Congress chose to shut down the federal government. Uh, let me be more specific. Uh, one faction of one party in one House of Congress, in one branch of government, shut down major parts of the government, all because they didn't like one law. This Republican shutdown did not have to happen, but I want every American to understand why it did happen. Republicans in the House of Representatives refused to fund the government unless we defunded or dismantled the Affordable Care Act. They've shut down the government over an ideological crusade to deny affordable health insurance to millions of Americans. I urge House Republicans to reopen the government, restart the services Americans depend on, and allow the public servants who have been sent home to return to work. This is only going to happen when Republicans realize they don't get to hold the entire economy hostage over ideological demands. We don't know if we're going to get paid for these days that we're going to be off on furlough. We don't know how long the furlough is going to be. It's just a bad situation. People come from all over the country um, because we have Yellowstone, we have Yosemite, we have the Grand Canyon, and we have the Lincoln Memorial. And these are places with great meaning, not only in American society, but to the world. It sends a terrible message. It says a message, don't come to the United States unless you're sure everything's going to be open. And it says that here uh, a small group of politicians have tied up the entire city here. It makes people question uh, how serious we are about taking care of the things most valuable in our society. Due to the U.S. government shutting down, we do 60 minutes carbon fruit only for we're coming from Paris in France, so we are really disappointed. It's been a lot of days we took the tickets, so we just want to go inside the statue. Extremely disappointed. My son is back there too, and he's seven, and he's been wanting to go since February. He's been telling all his teachers and friends at school this was the big thing that we came for, and so we waited all week because our tickets were for today. My basic message to Congress is this. Pass a budget, end the government shutdown. Pay your bills. Prevent an economic shutdown. Don't wait. Don't delay. Don't put our economy or our people through this any longer. I'm more than happy to work with them on all kinds of issues. I want to get back to work on the things that the American people sent us here to work on. Even when the odds are long and the obstacles are many, we are and always will be a country that can do great things together.